Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another blog tech tips. Of course guys, here I have today installed is the EcoWare 3000 Watt and this is an off-grid pure sine wave inverter. And of course, um, guys, if you take notes, um, this one is installed. Um, due to the position, I had to install this um, upside down. But of course, um, it works quite fine in that mode. And of course, as you can see, it is a DC 24 volt to AC 120. So of course, if you're looking for a 120 volt output um, from a direct current 24 volt system, as I said, it's a 24 volt system. This is a part of a kit, but we'll be focusing on this 3000 watt um, eco worthy um, pure sine wave inverter. Being pure sine wave, it is very efficient. And of course, as you can see here, I have connected the main component here. We have the display, which is from EcoWorthy. We'll look at that in a minute. But of course, just looking at the design. Of course, this is decked in uh, silver color. Um, you can find the information on this online. I'll link to it in the description. You can check this out for yourself. All right, so we're gonna check out uh, the design. First of all, it comes with this sturdy casing. Do note this thing is quite beefy, large. So um, do note that. I have it mounted firmly to a wall here. And of course, if you check this out, guys, um, from EcoWord, it's been working quite fine since I've gotten it. And um, I do recommend that you use this display that comes with it. It comes with this cable. It's connected to the back of the device. All right. So it does show the current wattage. And you can see that it is powered on. It gives me the settings menu that I can navigate. It tells you that it's on. Currently, it's just joined 3 watts. And I have a refrigerator connected to this, which is a deep freeze. Um, it does pull um, quite a lot of power. That's the device that I've connected. And as soon as it starts up, you might hear during this video, the ramp up of the fans, all right? So of course, let's look at the menu. I have it set to display the watts that has been pulled. Now, of course, this is the best place to get the amount of watts being pulled. It is um, relatively accurate according to what the device is pulling. And of course, it you do bear in mind that the wattage being used is indicated of what the device is using, meaning whatever you have connected, plus what power charge or what's the um, device itself is consuming. Meaning, if I connect something that's consuming 100 watts, do note you might see 100 plus, which indicates what is the cost of running the inverter itself coupled with the cost of whatever is running. So let's say, for example, the fridge consumes 100 watts, you might see 150 watts. 50 watts would be in that example. Um, the cost for running the refrigerator, all right? There you go. It shows you the hertz. I have this to set at 60 hertz, which is the load. And of course, it gives you the battery, which is 28.7, which is the battery voltage. 120 volts load which is the current settings in terms of voltage. Um, there's no amp or load now because the load is off. So the fridge does turn off and on. And I've set it to this mode here, which is the watts. And as soon as the wattage, it will show you how much watts is being used. Next, I'll show you the fans. All right, guys, so here are the fans. Do note once these things kick in, they do push a lot of here and it does get noisy. And as you can see here, the fans, it does come with two fans and these fans can get very loud and of course on this side you only have the fans it will expel the hot air from the inside and as soon as there's significant load the fans do ramp in please bear in mind wherever you're installing this if it's on the inside it will make a lot of noise so you want to bear that in mind it does get noisy when it chips in whenever it's turned off it is not bad but do note it will make a lot of noise so bear that in mind when you're installing this it comes with this mounting plate, which is two screws on this side and two screws on the opposite side. Let's check out the opposite side, guys. All right, so this is the opposite side, guys. It's quite um, jumbled here. But of course, you can see positive, negative. Um, you can see that LED indicated that it's on. That's the port for the display that I showed earlier. Um, there's also a grounding uh, mount there to ground this thing. I recommend that you ground it. Um, in case of surges and of course there is a I don't know if you can see it but right above the um, that LED that indicates green that is functioning 
there is a off button um, you really need to turn this off and of course um, next to that we have the jacks and ports to connect peripheral devices it does have two ports one for a remote meaning it can be run remotely turned off and on with a button that will extend the button from all the way around there just in case these things get jumbled and of course the um rs for um, i think it's rs let me see this properly it's rs something like um four eight five jack but it's a communication jack to send data all right there's also a red fault button that's not lit up now and of course that will indicate a fault and of course here we have um one port here which is a max 20 amp port meaning whatever you connect to be powered here have a fridge that fridge should not exceed or what device you're plugged in should not exceed 20 amps you can also add an extension i have a um, extension as well that um, doubles these ports into multiple ports do note that the combined amperage should never exceed 20 amps for this or of course it will blow the fuse here we have a fuse and that fuse of course can be replaceable so just in case you exceed the 20 amps so 20 amps is the limit per port and of course you have an ac output as well and of course here you can connect a additional um outlet so you can have two so the one is enough if you get only one you can use an extension to get multiple ports but if in case you need an additional port you can wire it i have one wired here and as you can see there's the um, ground there's the neutral there is the live and of course this leads to a additional plug all right so that's it basically all right so this is the additional plug that i have um, wired it's quite easy it's a standard plug yours might look different so you can wire an additional plug so i have additional um, plug wired in two outlets and of course i have also an extension clip to the one main port um, this is totally optional this did not come with the device i just bought this and um, basically set up to set up to um, that additional port here as you can see check it out guys it's um, starting up you can hear the sound it does sound like a hair compressor and there you go it does turn on from time to time to cool this, the system especially under load it's not really under load now but um, the day is hot so I would guess based on the ambient temperature it's decided to come on all right all right, so I'll end the tutorial here. This has been a tour of the 3000 watt pure sine wave um, inverter from EcoWorthy. Um, I do recommend that you get this. It is very powerful, especially compared to the two um, on 2000 watt. Um, being 24 volts, it means that you can run larger equipments. I'm able to run all sorts of equipments on this. I'm able to run a very large deep freeze. All right, so this is a deep freezer that I'm able to run. It runs it quite fine, it runs it 24-7. As a part of the kit, it comes with two very large batteries that um, is very um, strong. I'll link the kit and this device by itself. Um, it's quite reliable, robust. It is way more powerful than the previous version. This is what the previous version looks like. It's way more beefy and larger. And of course, it runs all my devices. Um, you could use this to run a small cabin with a much smaller fridge refrigerator, uh, lights and basic stuff. Uh, this is a mid-tier device and of course I have 1200 watts out of panels connected. Um, do I recommend this? Yes, I do recommend it. And of course, as a part of the kit, you can run this, use this to run a greenhouse, a small cabin. Um, you could probably run a house on this, but of course you'll be limited to what you can run. So this is um, a medium system at best, the first system that I show would be a small system which is a 2000 watt but of course i'm able to do stuff like ironing on this seeing that it's 24 um, volts it does angle heavy appliances such as irons i am also able to cook on this with a hot plate but of course that would be like an induction hot plate with being careful especially at the very hot times of the day and of course if you have the correct mounting configuration with the six panels that are 200 watts each it should run quite fine and of course the two batteries which I 
at the top of my head, which is quite powerful. I have them connected um, in running, running together to give me a 24 volt system. Do note as well, this is 24 volts and it will not boot unless you have a 24 volt configuration or a 24 volt battery that's dedicated. All right, so I'll end the tutorial here. Do check this out and do purchase it. It is a great buy. And of course it works quite fine for a medium based system. All right, so I'll end the tutorial here. Got from Blog Tech Tips and until next time, bye.